three, and it comes in the clincher for the Cleveland Cavaliers, 128 to 93. Man. Again, 10 straight wins That's over the man. Raptors, 12 and two all time in the postseason against them. And so the Cleveland Cavaliers move on, and they shoot uh, just under 60 percent, tying the franchise playoff mark for the best shooting in a game. Um, Chuck, when you play golf, and I'm talking about the new Charles plays yes, golf. Yes, yes. There are certain holes you get to when you're playing, even if it's a course you play all the time. Yes. And there's like a certain hole. Oh, when, when, when I get to 15 and you're thinking about it for four holes, I'm ne that water on the right gets me every time. I put it in there about 15 times. The Cleveland Cavaliers are the 15th hole for the Toronto Raptors. They can be playing as well as they can during a regular yeah. season, and then they... That fifteenth hole jumps up and gets. You no, know, sometimes what well, like when I'm in the zone, I, I play a hook. Yeah, it's like when you need to play a fade, but all you but all you get is, is a draw. Shout yeah. out to Jason Duffner. Jason plays. <laughs> he plays a cut also. Yeah. yeah. Psychologically, after game one, they were done. Ernie, remember what I said when we said we'd get ready for game one? I said I would never say a team has to win a game one, but the Toronto Raptors had to win game one. And, and the way they lost it the way, well, in overtime no, with no, all the misses no, and everything else. No, just losing the game yeah. because they were still shell-shocked in game two because they got beat down in game two. And then they tried to show some pride in game three, and then they quit again tonight. <laughs> I, I, I'm just disappointed. I, I really am because I like their players. I like their coach. But to come out and just get dominated two games, at, just like quit basically in two games, when you're the number one seed... Hey, They've lost this team 10 straight times, man, in the playoffs. That's crazy. You know, sometimes I think a team just has your number. After game one, I don't know if the, the, the media asked them this question, but they were talking about, no, they're not in our head. No, we're not scared. We're like this, which meant to me that they were still thinking about it. And, you know, game two, they came out and played nervous basketball. They lost that, and, you know, their backs were against the wall. LeBron did what he did. Played play pretty good game three, but I think LeBron, when he hit that shot off the glass, you know, he just Yeah, but they were out. done after game two, Shaq. He just took their they out. Once they lost them first two at home, they weren't going to come. But I told you this, yeah. that Toronto wasn't hey, ready. You know hey, I told you I'm this man enough to admit, I said, this is not this. You said, this is the same old rep. I said, no, it's not. They're new and improved. Uh, I, but you know what? Hey, you got to be man enough to admit when you're wrong, and I was 100% wrong on the Raptors. I mean, we the North. We could, we the North. I mean, we could go over... All of the, you know, the energy level, the strategic things that they did incorrectly. And we do that. We can, we can have a laundry list of things and go, oh, wow. It's after the fact, of course. So I'm not going to try to go into that. But it was a lot that was very obvious that could have been changed. I, I will say that. But the question I always get asked now is, and I'll ask Chuck and Shaq, and what I'll tell you what I think is, is he with Michael Jordan, is he in that level? Is he that? Is he better than that? You know, the new millennials out without it, they go without a doubt. You know, but you the know, people who have been, I, I, I hate, I hate this fake the comparative. I hate this fake comparison. LeBron is great in his own right. I mean, listen, Sidney Crosby in hockey. If you think he's better than Wayne Gretzky, you're entitled to that opinion. Uh, if you think Pete Sampras or Rod uh, is better than uh, Roger Federer or Rafael Nadal, it's all subjective. LeBron is great. I've said this before. After Michael, uh, I, I, in my top five, I've always said it's uh, Michael, Oscar, Bill Russell, Kareem, and Wilt. I got Kobe six, I got LeBron seven. It's all subjective. If somebody is different, I'm never going to say a bad thing about LeBron James. I'm never going to say he's one of the greatest I've ever seen. But all these, all this stuff is just talk radio to me. Yeah. Like these guys, these but this is, the, this is the call. This is a, this but, is the but, conversations but, that... They're not yeah, real conversations. But, but, but you ain't yeah, got to... Yeah, but I mean, but they're not real conversations because obviously the guys didn't play good. You know, you know Chuck makes a great point. Barbershop talk. Yep. You know, in this era, he's the greatest. In that era, Mike was the greatest. You know, every, every era has... A, a, a heir apparent, you know, a guy that, you know, who ran the air. The question you should be asking, what, what are we going to do with Toronto? Are we going to break them up? You got to do... Those two? You know, they still, they still a young team. 
I don't know, breaking him up is the answer, or maybe adding to it. Adding because to they it. have some. They already they have added some to it. Nice... They had the best bench in the NBA. What are you talking about adding to well, it? Adding yeah, to... Add well, adding I need to have my best starting five. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me a okay. best starting five, now like Golden State, then, and then having the best bench. That, you know, I actually, I totally agree with you. This is the, uh, instead of worried about what's next, the, the Toronto's got to make a decision. This is three years in a row that they've lost to the Cavs. Well, they got to hope LeBron goes west and then no, they'll have to no, play him. First of all, I would never <laughs> say that, Ernie. What? Uh, say what? I would never say, as a player, you can ask Kenny this or you can ask say this. I would never as a player, hey, guys, we ain't going to win. This guy leave. That, I, that, I that, said it in jest. No, no, no. I know that. But, but I'm saying, but also, you know what they got to People work? are saying that for real. But you know what? You know what they got? They, they have to sit down and make an honest, like, are we good enough where we need to work? Because you look at the future. Forget what LeBron's going to do. LeBron, I hope he stays in Cleveland. I already said that. But now you got the Celtics and you got the Sixers yep. for the next 10 years. And, and possibly the Bucs. If they get so they're not in that conversation. They're I mean, not, young team. No, no, no. They're not as good as... Uh, no, no, they're not nowhere near. No, but, but, but right now, Boston and Philly... Right. Boston, so let me tell you something. Well, oh, do you know what's a great conversation we should have right now? <laughs> but how, how, long, you, how long would you like to stay here tonight? That's all right. I'm good. Oh, we can go home right now. No. Because I want to watch the hockey game. <laughs> Shout out Alex Ovechkin. So, 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 what, so what's, your next, what's your next great... Uh, for the next five years, Shaq, and I'd like to get both of y'all opinion. For the next five years... Would you rather be the Philadelphia 76ers Ooh. or the Boston Celtics? Oh, Boston Celtics. I, I, I would say I would Boston probably Celtics. be the Boston Celtics because what they're doing without their best two players and what Brad Stevens doing without their best two players. When Philadelphia didn't have their best two players, they were fishing in the lottery and, every year. And to, and to add on to that, Boston has a system. Without question. Philadelphia is just talent, run up and down, shoot threes. That'll win you some games, but that ain't going to get you no championships. Systems win championships. So to answer your question, I'd rather be Boston. I think I would rather be Boston right now. But I did say earlier that this might be the best thing if they lose, you know, that 4-1. The best thing for those two guys, Embiid and Simmons, you, you just put Embiid out of it. But I think him as well, their workout regiment this summer will be totally different, and they will come back differently because they've been great players to get to this point on talent and now there are this you know what maybe i do have a hole in my game no question it's, it's hard to my father used to say this all the time Kenny, you Kenny. know he know he said don't sit next to chuck too much because it might rub off but then he also said it's hard to work hard when you're sleeping in silk robes and those guys would have got to the Eastern Conference Finals, possibly of championship. They could be sleeping sleep in silk robes. Yeah, it's hard to work. You know, Chuck sleep naked. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Cavs get either uh, <laughs> Philadelphia or Boston. Pops, he messed up our line. <laughs> in the Eastern Conference <laughs> Finals, two and one against the Celtics. Kenny already knew that. Two America. and two against <laughs> Sixers, with each winning on the other's floor once. And uh, so does that. The, the third meeting between the Cavs and the Celtics was the first time that the uh, Cavaliers had their new unit out there, and they won that game over the Boston Celtics. Um, so we, we shall see what we shall see. Uh, when I see Shaq take it <laughs> off his belt, I was running. Uh, that that far as go? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Going to be a long summer in Canada. <laughs> One, two, three. Cancun. We're going fishing, y'all, up in Mississauga. Rod Black. Oh, man. Chris Simpson. Man, oh man, a shame. Man, I got to go up to Canada to go fishing with my boys up there. They got Leo Rowdens. Boom. <laughs>